This was the place where the Spirit got me a few weeks ago. And then the Spirit, as I asked him, uh, gave me a bit of shrewd wisdom from an old friend. His name is Dr. Ramesh Richard. Some of you know Ramesh. He's got like two doctorates. He's one of the smartest people I ever met. But he is a shrewd thinker. And he asked a fascinating question because uh, he was struggling with the same thing. Not sure which way to go. And so because he travels in the third world so much, he started asking believers in other countries that vote, but like never have Christians to vote for, how they handle this. What a brilliant idea. And he started getting advice and wisdom from all over the world. And one bit of advice he got from two longtime believers, strong believers, strong Christian leaders in Singapore, an amazing city-state in Asia. And he was asking them for practical advice. And here was what he posed them. He said, if it is true that either of these two choices are going to lead to negative presidencies, and you may not believe that, but if, if that's kind of where you're going, if that's true, what do we do? And they said, well, this is almost always the scenario we find ourselves in during election time. We're always thinking that. Here's what we do, and I'll quote it to you. Vote for whoever will cause the most reversible damage. <laughs> Think about that. Vote for whoever will cause the most reversible damage. If we believe that either of these candidates are going to struggle, are going to make decisions that will be negative for us, then let's start thinking four years, eight years, 10 years, 12 years, 15, 20, 30 years down the road, and just ask ourselves the question, what decisions could be made in the next four years that would be easier to reverse than others? The way I find myself thinking about it, I'm gonna vote for the person whose mistakes will most easily be reversed by the next president. And that was the bit of shrewd wisdom that gave me a track to run on. Now, that may not be the shrewd wisdom that gives you a track to run on. I'm aware of that. All I'm telling you is I prayed and I asked and the Spirit led me. Pray, ask, let the Spirit lead you.